Iris Murdoch's Under the Net presents a multifaceted exploration of personal freedom, artistic ambition, and the nature of self-deception through the life of its protagonist, Jake Donoghue. Set in post-war London, the novel delves into the intricacies of relationships, creativity, and philosophical inquiry, all while weaving a narrative that is both introspective and socially observant. Jake Donoghue, a struggling writer and self-proclaimed genius, is emblematic of Murdoch's fascination with the conflict between self-perception and reality. His character is an embodiment of the artist's struggle, caught between the desire for authenticity and the inclination towards self-delusion. The novel's structure reflects this tension through its episodic nature, which mirrors Jake's fragmented approach to life and art. Each episode, though seemingly disconnected, contributes to the overarching theme of personal disillusionment and the quest for meaning. Murdoch uses Jake's interactions with other characters to illuminate various aspects of his personality and his worldview. His relationship with his ex-girlfriend, Anna, serves as a focal point for exploring his romantic and existential dilemmas. Anna's reappearance in Jake's life forces him to confront unresolved feelings and insecurities, highlighting the complex interplay between personal history and identity. This relationship also underscores Murdoch's thematic concern with the nature of love and the difficulty of truly understanding another person. Another significant relationship in the novel is Jake's friendship with his colleague, Hugo. Hugo represents the antithesis of Jake's artistic ambitions, embodying a more conventional and successful approach to life. Their interactions often serve as a critique of Jake's self-indulgence and artistic pretensions, emphasizing the tension between artistic idealism and practical success. Through these interactions, Murdoch examines the societal expectations placed on individuals and the ways in which these expectations can constrain personal freedom and creativity. The novel also explores the concept of philosophical inquiry through Jake's interactions with various intellectual figures. His discussions with philosophers and thinkers reflect Murdoch's own philosophical concerns, particularly her interest in the nature of reality and the limits of human understanding. These dialogues are not merely intellectual exercises but are deeply connected to Jake's personal struggles and his search for meaning in his life and work. Murdoch's narrative style further enhances the novel's exploration of these themes. The use of first-person narration allows readers to intimately experience Jake's inner turmoil and existential musings. This perspective also creates a sense of immediacy and intimacy, drawing readers into Jake's world and his philosophical reflections. The fragmented structure of the novel mirrors Jake's own fragmented sense of self, reinforcing the theme of self-deception and the difficulty of achieving personal coherence. The setting of post-war London plays a crucial role in shaping the novel's atmosphere and themes. The city's vibrant yet disillusioned environment serves as a backdrop for Jake's personal struggles and artistic aspirations. The social and cultural dynamics of the time reflect the broader concerns of the novel, including the search for meaning and the challenges of reconciling personal desires with societal expectations. In conclusion, Under the Net is a rich and complex exploration of personal freedom, artistic ambition, and self-deception. Through its multifaceted characters, philosophical dialogues, and innovative narrative structure, the novel delves into the intricacies of identity and the search for meaning. Murdoch's portrayal of Jake Donoghue's life and struggles offers a profound commentary on the nature of self-perception and the quest for authenticity in a world full of illusions.